Deputy Commissioner of Police, Abba Kiari, we have to step aside as the police investigates the accusation of bribery leveled against him. Kiari has been suspended by the Police Service Commission on the recommendation of the Inspector General of Police. The recommendation and suspension follows the indictment by the U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation for Bribery. A document released by the FBI indicates Kiari received money from Abbas Rahman, also known as Hush Puppy, who has pleaded guilty to fraud in the United States. Hush Puppy testified it was a bribe, but Kiari claims no money was paid directly to him. He also says the money sent by Hush Puppy wasn't a bribe. But joining us live now is the chairman of Coalition Against Corrupt Leaders, Debo Adeniro. Uh, good evening, Mr. Adeniro. <laughs> good evening, Maureen. There you go again. Uh, our organization is no longer a coalition against corrupt leaders. Oh, what is it Center now? For, Center for Anti-Corruption and Open Leadership. We've corrected it a couple of times on your platform. Oh, oh, well, I have to blame the news producer for that. But thanks for correcting me. Now I know. So what are your thoughts on the issues going on right now? Well, uh, thank you very much. Like in every uh, criminal issue, uh, you can't presume that somebody is guilty until it is proven. Uh, conversely, you presume somebody innocent until the contrary is proven. That is on the that is the platform upon which we are discussing the issue of Abake Yari. Uh, uh, given the kind of uh, feat he had accomplished over the time, over the years, about two decades, he said. And uh, up to now, nobody has been able to pin him down uh, to any uh, crimes of such, I mean, colluding with criminals to perpetrate their acts. I don't think that we should uh, throw away the baby with the bathwater. Uh, first and foremost, we should understand that uh, Abake Yari is dealing with high-wired high, uh, you know, criminals uh, or, that have international connection and they have deep pocket. And criminals generally want to buy anybody that makes himself available over. Uh, Kayari may be vulnerable to being bought over because um, he actually has been seen on a couple of occasions fraternizing with people uh, whose sources of, of wealth is questionable. But nobody has been able to come out frontally to say that they have um, caught uh, Bakayari engaging in all those untowardly uh, uh, activities. So until the FBI are able to prove their case, because this is not the first time that um, FBI will allege, and it is not all the time that they win the case against those they allege in courts. So the benefit of the doubt should be uh, on the side of the accused, on the side of Abakayari in this case. So we believe that uh, he should be given fair hearing and his trial should be open and should be transparent. And now when this trial not is... Only when this trial is done with, and if he's found guilty, do you think or should Nigeria hand him over to the U.S. if they want him extradited? Of course, um, if that is what the international treaty, uh, mutual legal assistance treaty that we have with the U.S. indicates, then once the, uh, the internal investigation confirms that he could have sweat his hands, in the hands of Ospopi, then he should be extradited to go and answer his, um, I mean, uh, for his own activity, criminal activity, if it has been uh, found to be so. That was what we said about uh, James Ibori. That's what we said about uh, Alice Madweke. A couple of those people who have engaged in international uh, criminal activity, if for a good reason, we believe, Nigerian authorities believe that they could have uh, perpetrated the 
criminal activity that they are alleged of, of course, they should be ready to answer. Anybody that could uh, commit a crime should be ready to serve the terms. There have hmm. been complaints of corruption against the Nigerian police, but this kind of takes you to a whole new level, seeing he's one of our most decorated officers, as you have earlier you know, uh, alluded. Uh, don't you think? And well, that somebody has been well decorated doesn't mean that he cannot change. Uh, doesn't mean that he cannot uh, become attracted to criminal activities. Uh, it could happen. Uh, for example, uh, the former anti-corruption, um, ah, I forgot his name now, in the, in the House of Rep, you know, who was uh, caught in a sting operation, had been found guilty by the court of law. He, for so long, was not found guilty, I mean, was not uh, caught committing uh, corruption crimes. So, somehow, human being, being human being, we can change at any time. But then, we should also realize that um, the, those who are cracking corruption crimes are uh, endangered species. You know, the, the criminals are are uh, actually looking for them, looking for any way possible to silence them. If they cannot eliminate them, they want to diminish their integrity. And they want to uh, give a dog a bad name with a view to get it hanged. That was what has happened to everybody that has cracked, you know, some of this criminal activity. Remember what happened to Nuhu Ribadu? He was uh, removed, you know, against his will, was sent to Kuru, for further studies. Uh, Madam Farida Waziri was also embarrassed. Uh, Ibrahim Lamode at the EFCC, all of them were embarrassed, including uh, uh, Ibrahim Magu, who was the, who was still, in fact, is still the acting chairman of EFCC because he was not officially removed before the president Abrashi was uh, brought to office. So uh, nobody, up to now, I'm not sure that anybody has proven any allegation against him uh, successfully. So this should not be unexpected. Mm -hmm. When um, people are fighting crimes, crime do fight back. Abakiyari has fought, you know, uh, very daring criminals. And he has brought down so many of them that are, are either to uh, consider to be, he, 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 to be, invincible mm -hmm. now that he uh, he has been maybe he has been caged or he has been ensnared and he has worked himself into the hand of those who do not want him to succeed or to uh continue to enjoy the euphoria of good deed that everybody is uh, 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 uh is according him with yeah, so and, and judge, judge, judge. He, he has made some fundamental mistake for example, he didn't have to have any dealing with somebody like Hush Poppy, whose you know, criminal record is, uh, 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 is glaring to everybody. He didn't have to be at that uh, 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 funeral ceremony in the, in, uh, what's the name of this, uh, 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 by Kubana. No, he didn't have to be around those places, except otherwise is part of his, I mean, he's using such association as part of means of getting to the bottom of certain criminal activity. But then he needs to prove that, that he was dealing with Hush Poppy and uh, those other people with uh, uh, uncertain sources of wealth, you know, because he wanted to get at uh, some of the uh, uh, criminal investigation. Okay, Mr. 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 Daniel, but, because of time, I'd like yeah. to have to ask you this final question. Now, Judge Otis Wright's permission for the FBI to arrest Mr. Kerr and hold him in the U.S. custody is coming at a very sensitive time, you know, for us in Nigeria here. Because just in recent times, we have seen the arrest of Nnamdi Kanu from Kenya and then that yeah. of Sunday Boho. Benin Republic and Nigeria is seeking to extradite him. So Nigerians of the world are watching to see how the Nigerian government will handle this, right? This puts Nigeria at the center stage, sort of. Exactly. Uh, the, the, the truth is that uh, 
all of those who do not want uh, law enforcement agencies in Nigeria to succeed are also working towards uh, bringing down the integrity of those who have uh, exposed them or handed them over to the uh, authorities. And that might not be uh, what is happening to Abakayari and a few others. Everybody that has uh, distinguished himself in the in the line of law enforcement has been faced with one uh, trauma, I mean, embarrassment or the other. And that should not be, be cloud our sense of judgment. We should not throw away the baby with the bathwater. It has happened to certain people in the past because uh, uh, somebody said that we should also be circumspect when we consider the report of uh, FBI. The criminals are also not sleeping. They may be working with some elements within the FBI. Uh, Nigerian authorities should also be uh, open-minded. They should do thorough investigation. They should be sure that there are enough witnesses, enough evi uh, pieces of evidence, and enough grounds to uh, toy with the integrity of somebody who has been. Otherwise, uh, no, um, no, no, no people of integrity will want to work at the level of law enforcement agency in Nigeria because they will be afraid that when they are embarrassed or when criminals fight them back, that the Nigerian people and Nigeria state may not be there for them. And that will not be good a record for us to build on because Nigeria has been seen as a, 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 a kind of um, uh, uh, home, home, home country of corruption. And in our bid to clean ourselves of such a kind of a stain, we need to do everything to protect those officers who have distinguished themselves in the feet of, you know, uh, this uh, is a good uh, place uh, to uh, stop this interview. I wish you had more time, but thank you so much, Mr. Debo Adenera, and good luck with your fight against corruption. Thank you very much. We try, all we right. try our best. We are also being hunted, but <laughs> we succeed. All right, all the best. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.